Well, welcome, Virgos. Okay, Virgos, first of all, I want to say happy birthday to you and many more from Sin, the Moon Goddess channel. All right, for your birthday, we're going to do love with each and every sign, okay? I have some brand new love cards, so um, we're going to try those out. And then we're going to, of course, use our regular tarot cards, all right? All right, now, Virgos, if you haven't joined us here at Sin, the Moon Goddess channel, Please do so now by hitting the button on the right. It's a logo just like that. It says send the moon goddess channel. All right, spirit, we're going to do Virgo and Virgo. Okay? Virgo and Virgo. I'm cutting you off for now. they saying they're cutting you off for now. Mm. Okay. Spirit. Oh. Although the cards are saying there's a very strong attraction here, um, but one of you feel like you're giving too much in a relationship. Okay? Although there's a lot of love here. It's a lot of love, but it seems like someone feels like they're giving more. Yes, giving more than they want something a little more stable, something something that they actually wish for. So, um, sorry, Virgos and Virgos. Right now, that don't look like that's going to happen. One of y'all going to cut the other one off, right? All right, Virgos. We're going to go on to Virgo and Taurus. All right, this is love reading. Virgo and Taurus. Yes, Spirit, Virgo and Taurus, please. Virgo and Taurus. Virgo and Taurus. Virgo and Taurus. Mm. Virgo and Taurus. Thank you. It says, I wish I would have treated you better. I wish I had treated you better. Mm -hmm. All right, spirit, what you got to say on top of this? All right. Yeah, they feel like they're not giving uh, enough uh, material wise, like money or they don't have the same things you have. OK, but the spirit saying that you guys are are guided to be together. Yes, it looks like you guys had a fight. Okay, but things is going to be all right. If you guys had a fight, <clears throat> um, maybe someone else came into the relationship. But one thing for sure, you're moving up. Your relationship is going to move up. Yeah, victory. Yeah, it looks like um, you might be getting married. If you're already married, look like your relationship is going to move up a level. But... Um, Spirit is saying you're overthinking this, Virgo. You're overthinking it. They just want you to enjoy the ride. Okay? This, this, mm, this is a new path for you. They know. But they, <clears throat> they want you to enjoy the ride. Mm. Yeah. See, this is love. You have, you have passion, love in this relationship. So that's a yes. They said there's a lot of passion. Even though some of you might have had a fight about something, nothing big. It's just something, it was something there. Oh, by the way, Virgos, I was told your love life for this next year, starting September on, is going to be steamy. Okay? No matter if, I'm sorry, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. But, um... It's gonna be steamy, no matter if uh, no matter if you want it, you want it or not. It's gonna be steamy. All right, Capricorn and Virgo, Capricorn and Virgo. I I wish I could be there for you, but I don't feel ready. Mm. I'm scared to commit to you. I need my freedom for now. 
So it sounds like um, your Capricorn Virgo is um, working on themselves. They don't, they don't feel ready for a relationship. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, they want to be fair to you, you know. Um, they, they know they're, they just want something, something new. They want to be able to, um, give you what you, you wish for. They want to give you your dreams. Yeah. So, um, Virgo, if you're dealing with a Capricorn right now, uh, you guys are going to go through some things They they might walk away, but they're coming back. It's not you, not at all. Yeah, they still have a lot of, they still have a lot of passion for you, but they're in a fog right now. All right? So that's Capricorn. Capricorn and Virgo. Now we're going to do air. So we, we're doing Libra. Libra and Virgos. Libra and Virgo. Libra and Virgo. Libra and Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. All right. I'm trying to understand myself more. I can feel your energy everywhere. Um, yeah. They're working on themselves, but they can't work on themselves because they're thinking of you. Yeah. But they're going to change that. Yeah, if you're dealing with a, a Libra, yeah, they, they, they're tired of, they're tired of, mm, they want their Virgo. They're tired of holding back. They're tired of working on themselves. Yeah, yes, they're tired. They're tired and they're ready to come forward. They're ready to come forward. Yeah. Mm. Yes. See, this air and this earth, that's what they want. They want you, Virgo. They're going to work hard, too. They're going to tell you all of this. Because they love you. Hmm. They feel that the love between the two of you guys are very strong. And you can make your wishes come true. They want to change things for you. All right. So if, if your Libra is gone, they're coming back. If they've been acting funny, they, they're going to turn it around. Yeah. Yeah. Your Libra wants you. All right, Spirit. We're going to go on to Aquarius. Aquarius and Virgo. Aquarius and Virgo. By the way, Virgos. <clears throat> By the way, Virgos, if <clears throat> I'm going to do some um, love readings, so you have a sign that you want a love reading, please drop it in the comments and I'll make sure I do it because I, I can't do all 12 signs, but I can do Virgo and Aquarius um, for the month. I can do, you know, a couple of them for each sign. All right. So let me know which one you want. Mm, okay, spirit. Okay. <laughs> they say in the reader guys the trade on Aquarius and Virgo. Alright? Okay. Some of you this this could be a new relationship or a relationship that was going to start and didn't. But anyway, it says I want to me message you, but I'm scared you might reject me. So if if this person, this Aquarius, they, they're afraid of rejection from you. So if you was dealing with Aquarius before and you guys kind of broke up, they do want to talk to you, but they're scared. So you might have to make the first step if that's what you want. Okay? I know you deserve more than I can give you at the moment. Okay? So um, one thing for sure... Uh, you have your your guard up, not only your guard, you you, you have your your boundaries. You, you know, um, you're not going to shortchange yourself. 
but this person has a, new, a plan. They and they think they 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 can make you happy. Okay. Yeah. They want to make you happy. So this will be they saying and if if you already wait Aquarius, y'all been you guys getting ready to level up. <clears throat> if you married, committed, you guys getting ready to level up. You might even be going on a trip or maybe a, a second honeymoon. Okay. All right. Anything else? Now, Aquarius might be, a new Aquarius might be coming into your life, Virgo. Mm. I, I, uh, I see love sparks. I see a winner. Yes. Yes. You work, you walk in, mm, you walk in away from the, the old you, the way you used to feel and you coming out with the new, a new journey. All right. So I do see that. This is a yes. And some of you going to meet Aquarius soon. If you haven't already. All right. We're going to go on to Gemini. Don't forget now, Virgos. Put it in the comments of what sign you would like for me to read for for the month. And I'll do I'll do that sign for three months. And if you keep voting for that sign, I'll keep doing the same sign every month. You and the same sign, okay? I'm keep telling you, <clears throat> these cards keep saying you're going to have a steamy, steamy year. Wow, because you're dealing with Gemini, you get four cards with them. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay? I don't know how, how to live without you, okay? That's your Gemini. I've been lying to myself for so long. You are my missing piece. I know you are the one for me. So this is someone that truly misses you, Virgo. This is a Gemini that truly miss you. See a happy life with you. They see a happy life with you. Yes. Mm. They love you, Virgos. They love you. Yeah, this is someone who you, you might have... Um, you might have, um, they say, and dreamed of. You might have dreamed of this person, okay? Your intuition is telling you this is the right person. So go for it, Virgos. Virgos and Gemini. Yes, this is, this is going to be a new star for you. One that you're going to um, be happy with, okay? So listen to that intuition so you can be happy again. Yeah, so I would say Virgo, uh, Virgo and Gemini. Um, that sounds like a yes, especially if this person has been in your life once before. And if you're married, it's just going to step up. Okay, so we're going to go on to the water signs and we're going to start with Scorpio, Scorpio and Virgos, Scorpio and Virgos, Scorp Ooh, all right, I think we got our cards, Virgos, all right, so there's three with Scorpio, yes, all right, Scorpio and Virgo, mm. all right, first of all, it says, I need I need some a long time now. I am focused on myself right now. I'm in denial about my feelings. So they think they have to focus on themselves. What they're not realizing is that you are what they need. Okay, so you guys, um, Scorpio and Virgo, you need to communicate more. Start a new way of communicating, maybe. It, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of you are being guided together, okay? You're being guided together, all right? And um, they want you to stick with your boundaries, though, okay? But this, this could lead to a, a commitment in a marriage, 
And if you marry, you guys are going to come up with a new plan. A new plan. Yeah. A new plan to help you get out of debt, which is going to work. Okay? It's going gonna, it's gonna to give you guys a... Um, no debt, okay, and love, a lot of love. You guys going to rekindle the love you had. It's going to be very strong now because after seeing this plan you, you guys did together to get out of debt, worked, and nothing brought you through but love. All right? So Scorpio is a little confused right now, but don't worry. You're getting ready to level up. All right. All right. We're going to go on to Pisces and Virgo. Pisces and Virgo. Spirit. Pisces and Virgo. Pisces and Virgo. Okay. All right. All right, we got three cards, three love cards. The first one says, there's still a lot you need to find out about me, Virgo. I still hope we can work it out, though. I, I regret how I have handled the situation. Um, so... They didn't tell you the truth at the beginning of the relationship about something. Okay? Yes. Maybe they goals in life have changed. And maybe they should have said something. I keep hearing about children. Okay? Yes. But you guys still have a lot of love and a lot of passion. Although you fight a lot. Ooh. Yeah, you guys fight a lot, but you need um, a lot more communication. All right, uh, spirit saying you need you need a new plan because the old plan ain't working. Okay, you guys need some more excitement. You guys were waiting around like um, old days. They saying. It's time to change so you guys can have that victory. All right? All right. So you guys can work it out, but that's going to be up to you. So that's going to be Virgo and Pisces. All right. So they, they might have lied to you at the beginning of the relationship and you just find it out. But it can win if you wanted to. All right, Cancer and Virgo. Cancer and Virgo. Oh, all right, Spirit. Oh, I'm going to push the sign down. Sorry, Virgo. All right. I'm not ready to open up. Mm. I think there's some trust issues here. I, they saying they're not ready to open up, Virgo. Yeah, they, they're holding on to some toxic relationship, okay? But I can see you guys having good communication, and um, I can see you, Virgo, changing things. Some of you um, might come up, even come up pregnant. Yeah, baby makes three. All right, by this cancer, but it... It, don't worry, you guys going to be fine. Money's going to be fine. Family's going to be fine. It's just going to take a little time. All right, so yeah, you guys, you guys are learning how to not fight as much, and and the fights be little. Okay. All right, there is going to be a change though. Like I said, it's going to be a change because right now they holding on to the. They're not trusting. They're holding on to their toxic relationship. Once they let that go, you guys are going to be fine. And if you're married and want to have a baby, that's coming. I do see you, uh, Virgos, having 
you guys together are going to make money. You might even travel together, yeah. Yeah, you guys are going to be just fine. A lot of passion, a lot of love. You guys are going to travel together. A lot of you are going to have a baby, okay? This is going to be a strong, strong relationship. One of you guys are very strong and demanding or very strong and spiritually, okay? Yeah, someone is having a baby. Congratulations. All right. All right, that's Cancer and Virgo. Now we're going on to this fire, Sagittarius and Virgo. Now I heard a song about Sagittarius and Virgo. It was steamy. <laughs> I don't know too much about dating uh, a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. Wow. I'm trying to understand myself more. I have never felt anything like this before, but we want different things. So they're confused. They saying you guys want different things. Um, the Sagittarius want to work. They want to work. They want to make money. Okay. You want a family, okay? So maybe your Sagittarius not ready for, yeah, it's not ready for children, okay? But you you still willing to work at it for love. So uh, it's going to be hard work if, you, if that's what you want to do with your Sagittarius. Because your, your, your Sagittarius is, is convinced. They're convinced that um, you guys want two different things. You might want children and they don't. Or either they want children and you don't. It's just like you guys, um, your plan of life is different. And I don't know if you guys are going to make it. I don't think so. Okay. So that's Sagittarius and Virgo. Now we're going to go on to Aries and Virgo. Aries and Virgo. Spirit, this is for Aries and Virgo. Aries and Virgo. Aries. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm in denial about my feelings for you. There's still a lot you need to find out about me. Again, they holding back. And, 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 and I, I think mm, the first card, <laughs> communication. I think they, hold, they holding back Virgos because um, they are scared of a commitment. So they're holding back. You do make them happy, though. You know, they're, 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 get, they're happy when they're with you. Mm-hmm. They're happy when they're with you. Okay? So, it's, it's, it's just they're afraid of commitment. They're afraid. But this will work out just fine. I do see um, some of you um, being in a committed relationship with them. Okay? And if you're already in a committed relationship, it's just going to get better. And, and it's, it's just, you guys are going to add on to your family if you are in, um, married. Just love all around. Okay? Yeah, Virgo, they saying stop trying to be the boss all the time. Everybody's got to be the boss sometimes. But this is a strong relationship. Yeah, strong love. All right. Also, if you're just meeting an Aries, they might be holding back because, because of toxic um, relationships. 
Just give them some time. They're going to be fair with you. They're saying it's up to you if this is what you want. All right? Okay. Leo. I like one, Virgo. This has been fun. I like these new cards. All right. Let's see. Virgo and Leo. Virgo and Leo. Virgo and Leo. Ooh, kind of tight. Virgo and Leo. Okay, Tom, I said that they loosened up. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I, I feel ashamed of, of what I have been doing with my life. I want you to love me for who I am. Wow. I need more time to reflect myself. Okay, um, this is something to do with your Leo's past. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. They're, they're, they're spilling their heart out to you, Virgo. They're spilling their heart out to you. All right, they they let they they letting you know just how they they actually feel and how they feel about you. Okay, they see you as a boss spiritually. They see you as a boss even at work. They really love you. Okay, they love you. All right, this this person is going to bring you a lot of adventure. They, they might ask you to move away with them. But I'm telling you, this is the person for you. This could be your, not just your soulmate, but I could see this being your twin flame. This could be marriage. And if you are already married, you guys already know you guys are doing just fine. I see a lot, a lot of love between you and this Leo. Yeah. All right, Virgo. I do see you guys making money too, being very successful together. All right. Now, some of you, mm, some of you, it might be your second marriage, or you might be married to the same person the second time. But you, you still see Virgo. You still see this Leo too demanding, too, too demanding. But you guys are going to be fine. Y'all got to level up when it comes to love. When it comes to love, y'all got to level up. All right, Virgos, I'm telling you. <clears throat> the spirit keeps telling me you guys are going to have a very successful love life this year. No matter who you with. Okay? They keep saying it over and over and over again. You, you, you're not going to have to worry about your stability um, or working hard. They want you to play hard just as, just as much. Mm, I can't say it no more. They saying it. They want you to work, play hard just as much as you work hard. They want you to have that balance. You are going to make an, enough money this year to, um, <clears throat> to be... Stable, so they want you to, to wake up, Virgos. Use your intuition, especially when it comes to love. Okay, this is your love year. If you have not seen your 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 yearly, go look at that. It's called the Game Changer. All right, and also your your monthly will be up. September, okay, so take a look at that too, all right, but your yearly is, is very good, take a look, a lot of you are going to get engaged and married within this year, love you Virgos, thank you for being here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, have fun.